Hey, what's going on? I want to do a quick video on how to set up the win rate slot channel point redemptions for Twitch. After you have obviously the widget installed to your stream elements, you can head over to your channel point uh, redemption area in Twitch. You can use the existing ones that you have, but for this demo, we want to do a new redemption. So the first thing you just have to do is click the add new custom. Uh, we'll do song request as a uh, reward name. Um, obviously, you can do a description if you want. You don't have to. We'll set this to just 100 for the demo. And everything else, we're just going to leave normal. We'll go ahead and create this guy. So now we have the song request redemption. And basically what you want to do and what I do, which I think is the easiest, is just highlight the song or not the song but the request name and then you head over to the win rate slot widget in the rewards and chance section you can just paste the name that you had so you're going to have 10 redemptions 10 different win percentages uh, the win percentage is going to be tied to the uh, redemption that it, that you have above it uh, so you can have different redemptions at different win rates so that way they don't all obviously require the same win rate basically once you have this configured and paste it in here it should be good to go there are some issues i will say with stream elements in regards to ad blockers or any other kind of third-party browser extensions if you have issues with it I highly recommend just launching in incognito mode and doing it so that way you don't have any of the add ones creating any kind of issues. Once you have this set up, you can actually give it a test. I head over to my Twitch chat. I have to refresh it since I got a new channel point redemption. And we will click the song request. Hit redeem. And as you can see here, it shows the username, shows the amount of channel points they use, and then what they're spinning for. Ugh, I didn't win. Can't request a song. So basically, that's it. Outside of the other visual adjustments, this here is going to be the bread and butter that you're going to adjust. Obviously, you can do your slot icons and the sounds and all of your other options as well. One very important thing with this that I wanted to go over with OBS is I'll go ahead and grab my link, bring my OBS down with the alert widget. It listens to the Twitch API system for an event when it sees that redemption it pushes it to stream elements. One thing that you will run into if you don't follow this step is you will get double alerts when testing or if you leave the widget open in SE. If you add the widget in your OBS into multiple scenes by each one, it will create an issue where each one of those widgets is going to trigger the redemption alert. So what you want to do is you want to make a nested scene for it. So down here, and this is just my layout, obviously it's going to be different than yours. Uh, what you'll want to do is click the plus symbol to create a scene. We'll name this one a slot. We'll just do slot redemption. And then inside of this slot redemption scene, we are going to add the widget. So we will do browser source. We'll do slots widget. Hit OK add in our URL and then make sure on the width and height we are setting it to 1920 by 1080. Uh, you can set it to shut down when not visible if you want. You don't have to. Um, the only issue with this by leaving it unchecked is going to be if you're in a scene where it is not and somebody does a redemption that would say trigger it, it's going to fire that alert in the background. So to prevent that, we can basically just check the shutdown when not visible. So now we have our scene. And what I like to do is move my uh, nested seed down in my nested scene section. And you can actually do this by just creating a, a blank scene. There's nothing in this. It's just named that. So that way I can easily differentiate what scenes are what in here. So now that we want to add the, the slot redemption, uh, to say my my just chatting scene, we can go to the just chatting scene, click the plus symbol and then click scene. Um, what that's going to do is bring up all of our existing scenes so that way we can select the one that we want to add. 
So then we will go to the slot redemption. And now that scene has been added to our OBS. And if you want this particular one in multiple scenes, you'll just do it in the same manner. Add that scene rather than going and adding a browser widget to each one. This is the easiest way to do it in my opinion because that way you don't run into the issue of the widget triggering more than once. But like I say, if you have stream elements open and you have the widget in your OBS, if you do a test, it is going to fire twice because that Twitch API system is going to see both of those events in both widgets and, and fire it. Just keep that in mind while you're doing testing. If you have everything done in your stream elements, then go ahead and close it and then just test everything from your, your Twitch chat. Cause obviously that's how you're going to test it anyways. Um, so make sure that you're, you just have the one uh, version open and it should be good to go outside of that. Any other questions? Let us know.